Well, hi everybody. Uh, and I thought you might like to know, as we sort of live full time in our motorhome, I thought you guys might like to know, and I've been asked a question, what sort of stuff do you carry um, to do repairs and things like that? Well, I have a fairly standard tool bag, um, which is this one here. Um, and I've got the usual drill bits, uh, wire strippers, little hacksaw, cutters, pliers, WD-40, all sorts of stuff like that, screwdrivers, um, spanners and various bits and pieces like that. More recently, and more recently and because of this, um, this is the uh, this is the battery cables uh, to join batteries together that I got uh, from a &E Leisure and I recently uh, well having bare ended uh, battery cable doesn't do you much good because you then need to connect um, ends to it if you want to plug that onto the battery so um, to do that I bought this. Now I've had several attempts at buying battery cables um, to get the right thing. Couldn't get it. Couldn't get them pre-terminated to the exact length because I didn't know the exact length. Um, and you need to, well to get the exact length you need to run the cable to the batteries and then terminate when you've cut it to the exact right length so that you can get the best, uh, most tidiest job. So I bought this little crimp tool and it's a, it's a hydraulic crimp tool and the ends that you uh, the saw on there, they're, um, they get squashed between these types of things to give them that sort of uh, nicely crimped and secure end. And I've got to say that that has been worth has been worth its weight in gold because the um, the crimp end on that is now I've, I've put uh, self amalgamating tape, which is insulating tape, on the outside of that, but that is really really firm and secure on there crimped on really well so when I get this all installed and when I get that all installed and, and cut to length um, that's going to be perfect but what else do I carry now there's a little cupboard on the outside let's just centre you on that a bit more this, this is essentially the tool cupboard that I keep uh, the tools in um, there's nothing massively valuable in there, um, so it's not it's not something that is going to cause me a massive strain if it did get broken into and, and stolen. Um, but a super guard kit um, that has all the sort of super guard sprays and a little box of things. Eventually, the super guard sprays will run out. And that bag will go in the bin. There's the Dremel multi tool and all its bits and pieces. So that's that's a really useful thing to have for little jobs around and you know trimming and sanding and cutting and drilling and all that sort of stuff. I also keep a little electric glue gun for the odd occasion when you might need a little bit of glue, um, hot wax sort of glue. A battery powered drill, now this, this is about five years old now, um, the battery almost never runs out, in fact I've just charged it up and the last time I charged it was nearly three years ago, <laughs> so, so that doesn't uh, go flat very often. I've got a, a, a set of uh, a socket set, which is a sort of a quarter inch drive rather than a half inch drive for little jobs, bits and pieces. 
and I've got a, uh, a, a bigger sort of drill, drill bit and cutter set, uh, screwdrivers and all sorts of things there that allows me to, you know, so if I need, which I will do, I'll need to be cutting a hole in the battery boxes. So I'll use something like that, which is the, uh, the little cutter piece. So you fix that onto the drill head and uh, you can then drill a hole. Also in there, I've got the little snow shovel, the fold up snow shovel, the leveling ramps, I hardly ever use them. Some uh, tie down stakes with sort of storm strap stakes and uh, a few of the plastic ties. So that's pretty much all the toolkit I keep. Uh, I've got a hydraulic um, jack uh, for the for the changing of wheels and tires and stuff. But that's pretty much it. Oh, and a and Thor's hammer, which uh, is kept uh, stored under here. I call it Thor's hammer. Um, it's it's a it's a two kilo, four pound hammer which allows me to bang those uh, windbreak stakes in um, rather than the little claw hammer that I was using. So that's, uh, that's pretty much all the tools that we keep. Hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, give us a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget, if you want to follow our journey as we travel around the UK and Europe, living full time in our motorhome, click that subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss any of our content, ring the bell icon and we'll send you a reminder direct your inbox every time we upload new content thanks so much for watching i'll see you again tomorrow bye bye for now